last big city and meet up with friends from the past. We both like the US and we want to get closer to the culture and their way of living. For me, US has the best and worst of everything. After being on a boat for almost a year and almost only met other sailors, we missed normal lifestyle. Replace topic like wind, where to go, boats, with work, weekend and everyday life. Behind us we have uh, the famous pineapple fountain. <laughs> In general Charleston. this is a very beautiful city with uh, a lot of nice old houses influenced by both the, the French and the English. British, British. And the British yes. Yeah. So, um, they have yeah. buildings like from the early 18th centuries here so that's really historical places. Yeah. And the roads, it's not just uh, ordinary concrete roads, it's like stone roads, bridge stones roads, it's everything. So it's really beautiful. And one of the reasons why we came here uh, was to meet uh, former colleagues of mine. Uh, when I was working for Bull Power, the um, US distributor were here, so we uh, were invited to them and visit their factory, Grand Forest. They also send, sell uh, Grandsfors axes. Yes, so Kerry, who is the name of the owner of the Swedish forest, she picked us up in a really lovely marina. Grand Forest. Grand Forest, Philip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this super nice marina. Uh... With the pool it was actually a resort yeah so we had access to the pool area and the the showers was really clean yeah, yeah. it was a beautiful place yeah so we have been uh, on land for a while just going in a car is uh, exciting for us now it's amazing that just uh, after less than a year it's it's fun to go sightseeing by a car yeah and it's uh, extra fun when uh, when you uh, are driven around in a Tesla with all its cool features. I wish it was a Tesla boat, then I would buy that one. <laughs> yeah. Rob was really kind to us. They took us around to do some uh, shopping that we're not uh, able to do with our bikes. Um, yeah. And, and they showed us the areas around their living. They live in Mount Pleasant, which is a part of Charleston. Yeah. I mean, uh, Charleston is really a tourist place. Uh, so we went uh, to the beaches and the very uh, fancy. Uh, uh, hotels and yeah it's it's nice yes it's really nice it's a very fancy trunk the one thing since we came to the united states is the weather oh, oh. we have weather we have weather actually it's not the same every day no so the like the first day when we were here we got caught by a shower from uh, yeah, the sky was just opening and yeah, it's it was flooding something. water. Yeah, and here it's warm and very humid. Yeah, and it's uh, we have had the grey weathers like this, but it's actually nice when it's the sun is not out because it's so warm and sharp. Then we went into um, the city city center where we could anchor just outside the, mar the city marina. So we had just a walking distance into town. 
and that was really fun because it was a Swedish boat there sailing Hilma and it was a Norwegian boat that we met like in Akurunya the first time. Vaki Vaki. Vaki Vaki. So it oh. was nice to see some uh, known faces. Yes. When we were in Martinique, uh, there were a curfew, so we weren't allowed out during the night. Uh, and two days after we came here, uh, there were a curfew here from six o'clock in the in the evening, and we um, and that was because of some. Uh, riots uh, between uh, black and uh, white people. Uh, yeah. So there were a guy, um, a black guy killed by a white policeman a week ago and uh, a lot of protests along that. And we were, uh, yeah, we saw one demonstration. Uh, Uh, very okay. peaceful, and we got, I mean, we got tears in our eye, eyes. I because to cry. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, when we saw that, we felt like, oh, there's hope in the world. Even So it was good. Yeah. And we were also invited to um, to uh, Wendy and uh, Will. Um, also, uh, Wendy is a sales uh, manager at the Grand Forest. So we had a, we spent the weekend there, uh, sleeping in uh, nice beds and uh, yeah. Yeah. really um, more inland. So when you went up from the bed, you could stretch your whole body without <laughs> getting hurt in your head, and yeah. you can swing around, <laughs> yeah. and do we, a pirouette if you wanted to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I will say as all uh, other sailors, when they get uh, on land and they have a proper shower, it's like, yeah, that's good. That's yeah. uh, warm water and uh, unlimited amount of warm water as well. Yeah. So that's very good. And they were so kind to us. They let us uh, loan their uh, washing machine. Yeah. So we could wash like all our clothes again. Um, and uh, so that was so kind of them. Yeah. And uh, we also, we took a long bike ride and uh, they live the by a river, so uh, we used their uh, subs and the puddle, puddle boards. Yeah. We need to buy a car as well to get the uh, to inflate them. any alligators and didn't mind that since we were on inflatable boards. Maybe they saw us but had already eaten. Thank you very much Kerry and Rob and Wendy and Will for your fantastic hospitality. This is a good place. 
The land-based living is not too bad after all. Having a proper bathroom and a large kitchen is nice. The best part is the grocery stores. You can find everything and it all looks so tasty. I want one of each. Thank you for watching and see you next week when we continue north.